Stalker is all about atmosphere, and while the anomaly mode is doing a great job of adding to the immersion, there's always room for improvement. So I went through every single page here in ModDB and picked a few mods that could increase that. This is by no means the best list ever, so feel free to let me know which mods work best with you and why down in the comments. Also please note that the version of the anomaly client is 150 update 4. First off, body health system. This mod adds a health bar to each of your limbs, head and torso. If you damage one of your arms, you're down to using only one-handed weapons. Damage your leg too much, forget about sprinting. And walking fast in general. Damage to the head is also highly unrecommended. Anomaly Magazines and Anomaly Magazines Extended This was the mod that I probably wanted the most. An idea of a character carrying around bricks of ammo that magically turn into mags whenever you press the reload button just didn't sit quite well with me. This mod does exactly what it says, adds magazines into the game. You now have to think where you shoot, especially in the early game, where you usually have one or two mags for a given gun. Trust me, you don't want to end up with an empty weapon and a pack of dogs chasing you. Plus, it is also so satisfying to check your loadout before going into a raid. Death Animations Pretty self-explanatory, enemies will die in more tragical ways. Although an extra bullet may interrupt an animation, it feels so rewarding when you actually see it. Immersive Free Shade It allows you to tweak visuals. Although Anomaly looks good by default, I use this reshade for minor improvements. Ambient light for that extra fluff and SMAA to smooth out the edges. JSRS sound overhaul. Makes guns snappier and fake sound physics for distant shots. Not much to say about it, it's great. Starting loadouts. I mainly installed this mod to add a little variety to my hardcore difficulty playthroughs. Now you can start not only with a pistol but some more powerful early to mid game guns. The balance is still there since they require a lot of points and you'll have to sacrifice starting supplies to pick up a better weapon. Realistic Rebalancing This mod affects a whole lot of things like damage to both NPCs and the player, anomaly damage, traitors, some AI improvements, etc. It makes the game harder, but in a reasonable way. Surrender Chance It is very rarely that NPCs surrender in the base game, but with this mod the chances are higher. Don't expect every other shootout to end up with a hostage though, it is still pretty uncommon. Mutant Bleeding With this mod mutants can actually bleed to death after several shots. It could lead to new tactics and is a little bit more fair towards the player overall. Now we have a couple of little quality of life modes. Ammo check, to know how much ammo you have left in the mag. Level transition simulator, that skips some of the in-game time while you're switching locations. This does stack up with life granter. Speaking of which, life granter counter. will show how many lives you're at and how long it will take before you get a new one when you're playing the Iron Man mode. Stash overhaul, just to add extra variety. And trader overhaul. Although I'm not sure if it works properly, since I never played the game without it. The links to all the mods will be in the description. To make the installation easy, just make sure you're using JSGME Mod Manager and enjoy the ride. Let me know in the comments what would you add to the list. Leave a like if you found this video helpful and of course subscribe for more. Blade out.